Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris with 8 Times Up Outdoors, back for another lab, okay? It's time. It's time, it's time that we have the talk. Today, folks, you're gonna learn how to do the knot that I call the birds and the bees. Uh, watch this video to the end and you'll figure out why I call it that. It's an outdoor channel and uh, we're now talking about the birds and the bees and you're gonna learn something. You got that warm, fuzzy feeling going on like uh, like you're back at the old high school dance, make sure you go down and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Hell, don't be selfish, man. You got that feeling? Share it with your friends. Go ahead and share this video with them. Get them involved too. And we'll get started here. Ty and I use this knot all the time. Um, primarily for attaching, actually 100% for attaching our lead core line to our braided backer. All right. So with your lead core, the first thing you're going to want to do is run you about six inches or so out. You're going to take the sheeting, the sheeting off, right? Pull it back. So you expose about six inches of lead. Use a pair of scissors or whatever you got handy. Clip off that lead core, the lead part. You can throw that in the garbage and then you're going to pull back the sheathing and so you your lead core ends right about here and then you got about six inches or so of sheathing and then there's a little opening right here which you're going to want to stick your braided line into okay but for this demonstration we're not going to use this because it's hard to see and it's kind of challenging so we're going to use green paracord for our lead core, right? You can see the much larger opening here where you would like to stick your braided line into. Okay. I've already removed the string in there, which would represent our lead core. First thing what you're going to want to do is take and tie an overhand knot and just kind of slide that back six inches or so. You're going to take your string here which will represent our braided line. Okay. I like to tie an overhand knot in this as well. Again, you're gonna push that out back about six inches or so. You're not getting it snug yet. That comes later when you're finished. Okay. So, you're gonna take your braided line and insert it ever so gently into the lead core and push it in there. You know, you wanna push it in there as far as you can. Try and, and it takes a, just a second, kind of finagle it just a bit. Okay, so once I've got about six inches or so, of the lead core or the braided line inserted into the sheathing of my lead core. I'll take these overhand knots and start sliding them towards my connecting point. Okay. You want to take your time here. Make sure you're doing it right. Get that one get it up there as close as you can same way with this one get that I like to get the braided to overlap the sheathing on the lead core here you don't want to overlap the knots on top of each other because that'll just increase the thickness not in the way you want it and voila give that a nice pull so you actually have braided line that comes all the way back up to here and then two knots securing it right here and when it's not paracorded and it's actually 
lead core line and braided line in together like this, your knot will be very, very little, okay? So again, that's what I call the birds and the bees knot. Hopefully you understand why I call it that. And you'll use this to, to join your lead core line and your braided line on your fishing pole. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this lab. That's uh, how you tie the birds and the bees knot. I hope you find it useful and it helps you put some more fish in the boat or in the basket to head home. Um, Till next time, tight lines, cool cans. Thank <laughs> you.